in the example today, the lady actually would have saved more money even if she just didn't use the insurance at all. And here we go. Let's go look and see how much she would have saved. So the medication in question for this uh, individual, I believe her name is Linda, she would have expected to pay $70.09 for her dextroamphetamine, which is a ADHD medication. But the pharmacist has told her it was $275.90 instead of that $70. And, you know, she didn't pick it up, which is dangerous, especially for people who are on ADHD medications who need this kind of stuff. You know, she had thought was, how can this be? You know, I, this is $205 more. I did my research. I did my due diligence. I'm not part of the 50% of people who just let their plan roll over into the new year. I checked. I navigated through the 70 plans available in California. You know, she lives in Weaverville, California. There's tons of plans in that area. And she just could not believe what happened. So I did a little research and I don't know which preparation of uh, dextroamphetamine she is on, but I did a search with CleverRx. That's the one, the link down below. And if you used CleverRx, at Costco, you could have picked up this medications for $31.72. That's just the regular one, as you can see here. If you picked up amphetamine, dextroamphetamine, which is the generic version of Adderall, it would have just been $20 at Costco. And if you got the ER version, the extended release version, which is typically the more expensive version, it would have been $44. So all of these are cheaper than using the insurance because based on her research, her insurance would have charged her $70.09. And what this tells me is this drug is probably a tier four. So a tier four medication charges the beneficiary a percentage. And when it's a tier four, it's considered a non-preferred drug. And it can be a generic medication or it can be a brand medication. Many times you're paying the full price of the medication. So the $70 could have been what the retail cost of the medication was when she ran the plan. But come the following year when the plan is effective, the retail cost could have gone up to the $275.90 and then she had to pay through her deductible, which would have been why the cost was so much higher. Again, I don't know the specificities of this exact case, but looking at it here, this is not uncommon and it's unavoidable. Even if you chose a Medicare supplement, you still have to deal with Part D drug plan, which is exactly what this is talking about. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, the Part C, you are stuck with whatever Part D drug plan, the Part C plan is with. So you can't get away from this if you're on the Medicare program like this person is. What about group insurance? Well, for group insurance, it is much of the same deal. If the pharmacy or formulary of your insurance plan decides to, let's call it drop or make this drug a tier four or a five or a three up from a tier one or a two, you are tough out of luck and you should use the coupon card. Another thing that many people don't realize is that a lot of those creams or devices, so things that are not your traditional tablets or pills, those things can be very expensive. And I would highly suggest all the time, use Clever RX just to see and also ask the pharmacist if there's a cheaper way without using insurance. So. Be a savvy shopper whenever you're using your insurance because that is what we are, I guess you could call it tasked to do now. Um, you might not think of like getting medical services like you would buy, I don't know, clothes or food at the store, but essentially that is how you have to treat it because that is how it is treated when it comes to the business of it. And you gotta remember in, in the United States, that is how the business works and the businesses know it. So another example, Walmart, Walgreens, they all know that if you have, if they can give you a cheaper fill, you will go there and potentially you will shop around. So look for deals when it comes to your prescription medication. That's all you would need. And only use the insurance for the drugs that are better for or price better with the insurance, right? All right, I hope this video kind of walk you through what I do when I help clients and also how you can help yourself. If the information was valuable, like the video, share it with someone who may need it, and I'll see you next time.